it's, it seemed like I'm always like underrated. You know what I mean? It's always like, I feel like I'm always an underdog. You know, I never really get uh, the credit that I want. I never really feel like I get the credit that I deserve, but at the same time, I'm always striving for more. There's a lot of pressures that comes with being an NBA player. You know, uh, people want you to perform at, at, the, at a high level each and every night. I want people to look at me and say, you know, every, every game is, you know, they got, they got a tough opponent. You know, they got to bring their lunch because they know that it's going to be a long day. A lot of times I just look in the mirror and say, I, I, haven't, I haven't gained their respect. I haven't gained enough of their respect. And, you know, that, that's what, that, that's all it is for me. That right there is, is, is what drives me, is, is what makes me want to want to excel in this game. My name is Baron Davis. I'm the point guard for the Golden State Warriors. <laughs> you know, it's, it's a lot of times where you might come in with a name or you might, you know, have, have had a great college career or, or might have a lot of accolades coming in. But, you know, uh, like my rookie year, I was the third pick and I didn't even play. So it was like, you know, people are, automatically were like, you know, he's not living up to the number three pick. So, you know, you always have to prove yourself. You know, you always have to, you know, be challenged. You're always going to be challenged. Golden State looking for the road lens. Davis has got it. Defended by Daniels with four seconds. Davis crosses over. And now two on the with a half second to go. Baron Davis gives Golden State the two-point lead, a season-high 34. What do I love about the game is, uh, like, the fans. I love the fans. I love, you know, the competition, uh, you know, playing against the best, playing night in and night out. Five to shoot. Baron will launch the three. He got it! It's like, you know, being center stage and, and, and you're performing. Using that size, using the strength, trying to slow down Baron Davis. Baron down the lane on McDyess, getting it to Diago. Point guard is supposed to be the initiator, and shooting guard is supposed to be like scoring and yeah. flashing. Right here, you got probably like a good scoring combination. International Connect. That's flash and defense. That's scoring and defense right there. But he's versatile. I describe my game as, as being, you know, a true point guard, a guard who, who can set his teammates up, pass. I love to pass. You know, I can score. Post up. You know, go to the hole, dunk. You know, shoot. I really pride myself on being a, try to be an all-around guard. I think, uh, you know, I put too much pressure on myself at times. And, you know, at the same time, like, I'm, I'm too much of a perfectionist. And I think that's that's really, like, my weakness. And because I, I sometimes I just, you know, it's, it's sometimes it's like I'm so focused that, you know, it, a lot of times I get frustrated and take away from the fun of the game. Come on, catch the ball, O. I think you get respect by going out and, and you have to earn it. You know, one thing in this league is you have to earn it. 
Handle it, handle it. <laughs> get warmed up, get warmed up. <laughs> that money today, oh, you gonna earn that money. I'm gonna kick you in your ass today. You have to really earn the respect. And by going out and, and improving it on the court, by working hard, by, by producing, you know, and, and, and making your peers and, and, and the fans pay attention to who you are as a person and as a player individually, but also within the team concept, having your teammates and your, and, and the, and your coaches love you. Scout report on Baron Davis tonight. Biddy got to give us a triple-double tonight. That's, that's, I'm going to put that pressure on him myself. He got to give us about really about 22, 14, and 10 boards. About four, five steals if you want to, you know. <laughs> he he got to give us all that tonight because we need it. We're playing against the world champs, you know. We got to come with some world championship game. You know, that's what, I, that's what I live for. That's what I've always lived for. It's just that respect, that respect from, you know, my peers, respect from the fans and, you know, coaches and just, just trying to be that, that type of player and that, that caliber of player. Let's go, Z. Keep working, baby. Being, being a leader is, is making, making guys around you feel comfortable. It's giving guys confidence. I want that for you. Okay. I want that. Was, but you got it. You got it. You got to Give it to me like you want it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. His, his confidence rubs off on other people. And again, it stems from the fact that he's good. <laughs> he's a really good player. and. That's where that comes from. Yeah, bring it! Yeah. Leadership's hard in this league. Leadership demands that you, uh, you back up what you say. You know, when you're out there on the floor, you know, for 48 minutes, you're gonna be, you know, so many emotions go on throughout the course of a game. So, you know, a lot of times you have to yell at somebody, but, you know, you have to know each and every person on your team, know who to yell at, you know, know when to yell at them, know when to encourage them. Hey, Hightower, good game. Good comeback, Hightower. You know, I feel like that's my role on this team is to keep everybody upbeat and keep them, you know, just keep that love and that energy for basketball. <laughs> Come on, oh. Dre, look at your boy, man. <laughs> Come on, oh. If you show fear, you probably won't be playing. <laughs> If you show fear, you probably will be sitting on the bench. Good players have a sense of sniffing out fear and exploiting that. Having fear in this game is not going to get you far. Baron Davis is across the way along with Burke. Four and three, ten seconds remaining in overtime. Score tied at 107. The inbounds comes to Davis. Handles the ball. He's got the win. And his sights a three is good. Baron Davis drills a three with four tenths of a second remaining. The more that you focus on doing the right things and being unselfish down the stretch, I think the better you become as a player. Try to, you know, you just got to kind of read where he is. Depends how far he goes. We can run that even if they don't step as far as they did last night. When I started to come, think about coming here, when I came here, a lot of guys said, you know, you're strictly going to be evaluated on what happens at the end of games. Let's go to Murph. Donald, you go. Baron, you go. Crusher time. You know, me and, me and my trainer, we talk about crusher time. And you have to have. I call it nerves of steel. Fish, you're not back. You're going back door, but go to the corner. And I, you know what I'm saying? And then I'll cut back door, and you rotate up. And it's like the last, you know, two or three minutes of the game. It's, you know, that, that's, that's when, it, when, it, when everything, that's when the nuts and bolts of the game and all the intricacies of the game become one. The Warriors play for the one shot to win it. You know, what's going through my head is just always make the right play. You know, you don't have to be the hero every night. Just 
make the right play. One second differential game and shot clock winding down the game. One full split. Now five. Down to four. With three. He's going to shoot a three. Yeah, two. Two. A little runner as the buzzer. He made it! He made it! Oh, How do I deal with the losing? I don't deal with losing very well. Beatrice for the time. San Antonio has won it. The Spurs hold on and win by three. I don't deal with losing very well. Uh, I mean, it hurts. It hurts because you know at the end of, at the end of the game. You want to be able to look in the mirror and say, first of all, I played as hard as I possibly could. And then, like, the second thing I say to myself is, what could I have done better? And, you know, how could I have turned the game around to where we could have won? You're down, you know, like, uh, the team morale is down. You disappointed your teammates, and you know it's, it's just a bad feeling, man. It's just a bad feeling. Man, this will hurt. This will hurt back. I felt we had a golden opportunity to win this basketball game, but we just didn't cash in. Because I hate losing so much, it's like it's like a burden on me. It's like a burden on me, and you know I really like in this game try to strive to to play perfect every time I go out there. Good night. Good night. Good night. Yeah, it's, it's just a bad feeling, man. It's just a bad feeling. I'm a big hip hop fan, so you know I just, I just really just send my car just ride. Like during the day it's hip hop, and then at night it's like you know Anthony Hamilton, Jamie Fox. Uh, the reason why I live in San Francisco is because I'm from LA, so I'm used to city. I'm used to the city. You know that. That's the closest thing to me to LA out here is, is San Francisco. You got, you know, the tall buildings. The, the, you got great views. Uh, you know, the, the the art, the buildings, the uh, the texture, like uh, you know, the different things that's going on. You want me to take one with all of y'all in there? You want to? Yeah, I'll do it. All right, thank you. I just think that San Francisco for me was more of my vibe because, you know, I'm more of a creative type, artsy type person. So, you know, just to be able to, to go to a concert here or maybe go to the museum and check out some stuff here and there or go down to the pier and walk around, it just, it just had a little bit more to offer. The red light is flashing. Oh. Is that the last one? Yeah. The battery. Oh. Right. Hey, it, anyway. it worked, though. It got good. a good shot. Good. Hey, thank you. All right. You're welcome. How do I deal with celebrity? Uh, I mean, I just take it all in stride. I, I know that one day it's all gonna come to pass. So, you know, I, I enjoy it because this is the life that I that I have chose. Hi, how are you? Oh, good to see you too. I heard some good news. You know, I, I just appreciate, you know, each and every time that, you know, I'm able to step out on the floor or somebody's asked me for an autograph or things like that. And, uh, you know, because I know one day it's all gonna come to an end, and, and I'm just gonna be regular old Baron or the old school has been NBA <laughs> NBA player. Uh oh, gotta uh -oh. do it. Woo hoo! Gotta do it. You play this game and you play hard enough, you know, you get, you're gonna get injured. Bring us before. I don't know. 
Yeah. I play. I mean, I'm, I'm the type of player. I play with injuries all my life. Well, you step on a ball? Huh? Step on a ball? Stepped on Travis' foot. Travis's foot? It's just frustrating. You know, when you're injured, you're frustrated because you know that, you know, you could be a little quicker. You could probably jump a little bit better. Aaron waited for Marcus Banks to fade by, but he has no lift. Credit to Baron Davis that he's even in uniform. You know, uh, you'd be a little bit stronger. And, uh, but it all comes with the game. So it's my ankle, but now I have to get out there and, you know, give us something just from a motivational standpoint. And, you know, it's just an overall great team win, man. I always reflect, I always reflect on, you know, my road, kind of like my path in life and, and the things that I did to get here and the decisions that I made and the people that I trust, you know, to help me along my path to, to make it. It wasn't easy. It was, it was very hard to, to make the right decisions and do the right things. And, have the right people in your corner to push you in that direction. So, you know, each and you know, each and every day when I wake up, I thank God for the opportunity just just to be here. I wish my grandfather could be alive to see me play. He was the one person early in my life that took a chance on me and believed in me. And he gave me basketball. You know, he built me my first basketball court. And that was my Christmas present. You know, he knew what I liked and he built it for me. I, I just wish that he could see, you know, what that one night that he was up, you know, Christmas Eve, building my basketball court, you know, what what that turned out to be in the end. Tonight, the Timberwolves take their first look at the Golden State Warriors, last team in the Western Conference. Golden State right on the edge right now with the Timberwolves in the playoff race. Well, these teams really mirror each other, Tom. When you look at the fact that Baron Davis is just like Kevin Garnett, he's the heartbeat of this Golden State Warriors team. He's one of the most dynamic point guards in the NBA. When he is on, the Golden State Warriors are impossible to beat. I want, you know, 15 years from now, you know, when I'm watching TV at home, my kids, for you know the announcers to to say, oh that kid reminds me a lot of like Baron Davis, and for people 15 years from now, like you know my my little niece's age and people like you know uh, my little cousin's age, to know who I was. The boy boss. Winning makes everything feel good. That's why winning is so important in this league, is because. You always remember when you win a lot. And, and that's one of the goals that I have is, you know, to win a championship and continue to get better so, you know, I can be remembered among the elite. This helped. This feels good. It's what we needed. Everybody played a part. Good win. Good win. Make sure you get in tomorrow and get yourself taken care of physically. This game of basketball is all about it's life. Warriors on three, one, two, three. Warriors. Warriors. Murph, you get the game ball. Murph, you get the game ball. I mean, it's about the fans, it's about the entertainment, to, you know, the action in the game. I love this game with all my heart. I love this game because it saved my life, it changed my life and it has impacted my life in a way that, you know, I don't even have enough words to explain. It's introduced me to great people, great friends, 
uh, open my eyes to, you know, just, just everything. It's the best game in the world. Basketball is the best game in the world. Roll credits. First and foremost, I always like to thank God for giving me the opportunity and the talents for you guys to know me. Thank my grandparents, Leela Nicholson, Luke Nicholson, for raising me and giving me the tools to be a leader. Uh, I'd like to thank my sister Toy, my nieces, Courtney and Tyler. I'd like to thank my coach, Coach Roper, for giving me the tools and the guidance in, in school. You know, in high school, even in junior high and high school, to succeed in basketball. Terminator, Toast, Soup, Bean. Thank y'all for just having my back support. Thank Elizabeth for pushing me to be better, better person. Who else I want to thank? I'd like to thank my mama for having me. Thank you, mama. <laughs> I forgot about my mama. I'd like to thank my daddy, rest in peace, you know, for giving me who he basically was, his personality. I'd also like to thank you know, Magic Johnson for being a, a huge mentor, as well as Isaiah Thomas, is always giving encouraging words. Also, I'd like to thank Coach Silas, who was my first coach in the NBA, who had a huge impact on my NBA career. Thank the Golden State Warriors for bringing me here, and thank the NBA for letting me be here. Let's go. Cool.